G'day folks, welcome back to the workshop. In this episode, I will be showing you how and why I modified my bow app to suit two squidgies, two wagtail squidgies. Um, it also fits uh, my sill brush, my scraper, my bent screwdriver, and my screen removal tool. Let's get into it. So, I've been using Wagtail for, you know, a good 10 years now, and over the years I have not come across a Boab that suits Wagtails. Even the Hip Dipper, in my opinion, doesn't suit the Wagtail Squidgy. So, if you're like me and you can't find one, a Boab ready-made, off the market, off the shelf, to suit, you're going to have to make your own. So, in this video, this is what we're going to do. We're going to modify, in this case, an Atore. I'll show you why I like the Atore the best. Um, and we'll modify that to suit two wagtails um, plus tools. Let's get into it. So first of all, I'll show you that it sits on my right hand side. If you're left handed, obviously you're going to do this system opposite. So. Mine's a clip on, clip off, the Atore. Uh, so I'll clip it off now and we'll look at that in a moment. What I want to show you here is the male end of the clip. I cable tie to my belt directly. I've taken off that loop of fabric so that uh, what I find was it used to hang too low and bang in my knee. So I take off that fabric altogether and cable tie the male end directly to my belt so that does that it shortens it it also holds it in position in my belt often i found that when i uh, take it off and put it in the van on the hook uh, the bow app slides around on the belt every time you put the belt back on you've got to reposition the bow app so that always stays in exactly the right spot for me on my belt every time i put my belt back on the bow app is right where i want it Okay, so now I've shown you that, let's move on to the uh, actual BOAB itself. So this here is what I carry in my BOAB pretty much at all times. 18 inch, 14 or 12 inch, depending on what, what I'm doing. Um, also my seal brush, screen removal tool, my bent screwdriver and my scraper. I'll show you how all that fits in. So here is the Boab naked. Okay, it's a Torre square shaped Boab. Oh, the reason I like a square shaped Boab, I have tried Pulex and Unger, Mormon and other, um, other Boabs in the past. Um, I've stuck with this one and I've been using this one for a number of years now. Um, the reason I like this particular one is the square opening at the top here uh, because I've got my wagtails in nice and straight I don't need any extra uh, thing here to to hold a, a sleeve of any sort also very important here it gives me a nice flat surface here to mount the scraper mount onto it so let's uh, put this together and I'll show you how it works first of all I think we'll talk about the scraper um, holder here. Now you'll notice um, that the I have taken off the little squidgy pouch that comes with the Yatoras. There's usually a little squidgy section here where you put the your, your strip washer in here and then your, your, your squidgy is meant to go in here. Now I've taken that off completely and I've repositioned it over here. Glued it, cut it and glued it back onto this section okay I took it off here because number one with wagtails we don't need that extra section here for a squidgy plus wagtails generally don't fit into those squidgy sections anyway so you don't need it cut it off move it to here now now that's moved that's given me space then a nice flat section through there in order to fit my scraper holder. This is a simple scraper holder. I made myself out of just some sheet metal, um, 
cut it to uh, cut it to size and bent it up into the shape that I want to suit the scraper that I use. All, now also with this section here, once this is ready, screw on a this is a broom holder. Um, again from your hardware store, basically screwed straight in and the uh, the the screw section on the back filed off so it doesn't interfere with anything and scratch. Okay, so how this works, simply put the scraper in like that and it pushes into there like so. That holds the scraper right on my right hand where I want it. Now, the, pe the part that I took off of here, I shifted and put onto here. Now this holds, I heated, the, heated this, up, this section up a little bit also and bent it out slightly. This holds basically my screen removal tool, which is basically a, a, a paint scraping, paint scraping tool from a hardware shop. Now that sits beautifully in there, locks in nice and tight and doesn't come out. Alright, so that sits in there now this one here just a piece of PVC pipe this holds my screwdriver also I heated up this little section on top just to open it up a little bit to take the screwdriver and the reason I use bent screwdrivers um, they're very very handy as a leverage tool they are very good for getting into tracks when you're cleaning tracks out I'll show you some other videos on this to cut in in the future episodes that sits into there and pushes in nice and tight. That's also nice and tight, but at my right hand and easy to get in and out when needed. This one here, another PVC pipe. It's basically, uh, again, cable tied into here. And I've just whacked a bit of tape around just to stop it from flopping around. But you can go fancy and screw it in, cable tie it in, whatever. Just be careful screwing holes down here because you're going to get water leakage. That's why I just taped it. So this now holds my seal brush with the wagtail end on it, of course, so it fits all my poles and also has a decent sized man handle on it. Um, and that sits into there like so. Also very handy for my right hand to just pop out, pop in, perfect. Okay, so now we'll go to the squidgies. In this, uh, in this particular instance, the uh, 18 inch slides in the back slot sits up nice and straight you'll notice how nice and straight it sits uh, that is extremely important when you don't want the, any rubbers to your rubbers to rub against any uh, plastic plastic surface any plastic edge now this is one of the main reasons why I had to uh, modify this squidgy is because of any rubber rub. Okay, now this is a 12 inch. Uh, like I said, I'll either use a 12 inch or a 14 inch. Again, oops, wrong way around. That sits into that slot like so, and they both sit up nice and straight. Okay, the handles are tucked away. They're not knocking on anything as you walk past. They're tucked in behind my leg. I'll show you this actually fitted on and so you can see how nice and neat it is they're both up nice and straight with pads okay so this is two squidgies with pads neat and tidy in the Boab the rubbers are nice and straight they're not touching any plastic anywhere they're not getting any rub why because of these two slots I've cut in here that holds the disc up nice and straight nice and firm and uh, it doesn't allow for let's just take this out for a second and I'll show you what happens what used to happen with my old um, bow app with this bow app in fact before I cut these slots in it would just sit there and then this would fall forward and that rubs right there the rubber rubs right on that piece of plastic right there sitting on there all day cuts a line into your rubber and consequently leaves an arc of water on the glass so there is the those two now if you if I want to change this up and do commercial interior commercial you've seen in my other videos that when I do internal commercial I use the one pass 
So, sitting this with two one pass in also, what I do is I take these two items out because you generally there's no fly screens, there's no need for those two when you're doing internal commercial. Okay, so now you'll notice on the other side of the BOAB there, there's a single slot cut in. Now this is important when setting it up as two one pass squidgies put together. So what happens with this? Okay, you got your one, the 18 inch one pass sits in this slot here. Still nice and up, up straight so the rubber isn't touching any plastic. Now the second, this is a 14 inch um, one pass. This now sits here and slots into that slot. They're both upright, pad to pad, um, and no rubber is touching any plastic anywhere on that whole BOAB. This tucks in behind my legs still. This sticks out a little bit, but it's not that impeding that it's a problem. There's still room for the seal brush to sit in, because even though your internal commercial, you're still going to have to chuck that on to get a cobweb or two, or wrap your scrim around it so you can catch any any drips or spills. Okay, there's the setup in a nutshell. Um, I'll show you that on, and then I'll put a link in the description to actually show you how I put it together. Right, so here it is in the one pass mode with the two one pass squidgies on the bow app. You'll notice the 18 inch tucks in behind my leg. The 14 inch does stick out a little bit here and can get caught on a few things. But generally speaking, it's fine. Um, you've either you've always got one of these up on a pole, so if that does get in the way, just slip it, slip it in behind there. It doesn't really matter. Okay, that setup is a one pass. You've still got your scraper, you've still got your sill brush set up, cobweb brush set up ready to go. Uh, for internal commercial work here. Uh, it's easy to get in and out. Flip the 18 inch, do your job. The 18 inch slips nicely back in. Same with the 14 inch, comes straight out, does the job, goes straight back in. I'll set this up now with the standard um, squidgies and, we'll show, and I'll show you how that's set up with everything incorporated. Right, so I've got now the two standard wagtail flippers in here this is the 12 inch and i also have the 18 inch nice and neat with pads so you're going along you're doing your job it's really simple straight back in they sit straight into these slots and they fit perfectly just sit nice and tucked in behind my leg that is not getting caught on anything um, look there's other couple of reasons why i chose the Atore is because of this thickness here. If I try to add this um, scraper setup on top of the, the Pulex or the Unga or the Mormon, there it just starts to get too far out here. Um, I don't like it getting too wide. I'm already wide enough with everything I have. So the neater, the slimmer, the more compact it can be, the better it is for me. So that's really great. I can grab the scraper. I can do my job with the right hand. I can uh, take this. I'm, uh, I'm, I'm uh, cleaning along, scraping as I clean, and then this just goes straight back in here, and it's done. There's no putting the lid out, sticking the lid in my lid, lid um, on my in my mouth, trying to do two things at once and then trying to put the lid back on You're trying to find a pouch to put it in um, it's really really simple take the scraper it's all it's got its uh, little holder here ready to go just feed straight in straight on done it's really really simple so handy okay so the next thing you want to I've got here is the bent screwdriver that is really handy on my right hand also I can be vacuuming away in the tracks and I can be scraping away here. Um, I can lift up um, screens with it. I can lift up um, fly doors with it because you've got that 
um, leverage angle on that. You can even go the other way, pull in, up, down, all sorts of things. It's um, I really like it. Just sits in there. It's really handy. And then the screen tool, obviously, you can push up the screen, pick this up with the screen, pull it out, away you go, slide it up. This is also good for getting into little gaps with your with the microfiber on it and cleaning stuff out. Uh, and that sits in my right hand also. Obviously, you want your seal brush. This is really handy, sits right here. It's in and out, so simple, so quick. Do the job bang straight straight back in so there's the bow app in a nutshell now what I'll do is I have done another video on this um, many months ago I built one of these modified and built one of these for my son so I'll put a link to that um, in the comments section um, and you can link and you can click on that link go and watch that other video um, I'm trying to keep my videos here a little bit shorter. Um, they're tending to go a little bit too long, I think. Right, so just a side note here. This won't take High Flyer. Um, I don't use High Flyer anyway, as of now. Um, I may in the future. But right now, I don't use High Flyers anyway. Um, but because of the way the High Flyer is set up, it won't fit in here without scraping and catching the rubber on the plastic which is what we don't want this is why I set this up with these grooves um, this wasn't my idea those grooves weren't my original idea they were from Christopher Dorber back in like 2007 or so um, when I first started watching his stuff um, he, he he brought in this little slot thing and I've been do, using that ever since so uh, it won't hit the high flyer but it will use all your other wagtails um, and uh, it does a perfect job so there you go there is the modified Wagman um, bow app and uh, it works really really well so this is Wagman give that a go Hello.